for one last it's still hot oh it's hot it's hot and soft Hot. I wish I had clips, I would easily clip it here. Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Achichi Solo and I make sewing tutorial videos and DIY videos. So today I decided to teach you guys how to make this lovely beautiful jacket. Stay tuned and watch to the end. So the first thing, we start with the bodice part of our jacket, my dear friends, and make sure you have the shoulder measurements, the bust measurements, natural waist measurement, waist measurements, and the length of jacket. In this case, our jacket had two parts. So you would have the length, the first length, and the second part of the length. I drafted the front part and traced it on the back part because it actually saves time and there was no zip allowance here because it's a jacket and we're not going to put a zip allowance so please take note of that right after tracing it I now put the darts the back part darts and the front part we just cut it out It's actually time for us to sew our pieces together. We're going to attach the front parts, which is like the lining to the main piece. And after that, we attach the front part to the back part. I actually cut the lining off camera and it's the same as the fabric. So let's sew.
so it's time to cut the down part of the jacket which is the cone the measurements that you will need is the length of the cone that's how long the cone is going to be and how wide the cone is going to be on the waist part this measurement is determined from the waist measurement for example this um, waist measurement is 24 so we're going to divide 24 by 8 that's 3 and on the bottom part I actually used 6 if you're not clear just refer to one of the videos I actually made a full detailed video on how to make the pattern of the cone I'll link it somewhere so that you can just check it out So at this point, after cutting the pattern of the corn, we now use the same pattern to trace on the corn. So here you don't actually iron, you just have to fold it nicely. It lays down and you cut your pieces, your patterns. So let's cut our patterns here and time to iron. And when ironing, please ensure that you take your time when ironing because this is extra hard interface and if it doesn't hold it will come out if it doesn't hold it will show that it's it, it hasn't held so always ensure you take your time when ironing your interface on the main fabric this is extra hard interface and it will need extra attention when ironing so You iron the interface on the cone. When it's ready, you will actually notice it becomes so soft, making it easy for you to manipulate the shape of it. You now like you can easily put it in a cone shape, like what I did. I it was really hot. My hands were burning hot. But at that point I just took the chance of changing the shape. As you can see in the video and it dried to that shape it was hot till it actually cooled down but by the time it was cooling down it was already in the cone shape and it maintained that shape so that's a secret and that's a tip always always ensure that you do that
so now we have uh, we have this part we're trying to connect it to the jacket part so here so let's sew this part Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friend. Thank you. Till the next time. Bye.